Here we are at the Super Bowl, but it's not the game itself. We're outside the Orange Bowl now, and there's going to be a CBS game of touch football with some of the real greats in the game. Uh, I see Sonny Jurgensen, and I see Johnny Unitas, and Paul Horning are also going to be playing. And I think it's a game for fun, but uh, you never know what's going to happen in these games. Uh, they can get a little rough, or uh, they can get boring. It depends what happens. Don't forget the old... Don't worry about forgetting them, but tell them where... They don't have enough... Tell those guys no fair patting on the ass. That's right. None of that. No fair whipping off. None of this either sometimes. Mr. Horning, are you nervous? Yeah, I'm nervous. Yes, very much. Very nervous. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my I guess you couldn't sleep last night. Well, John's betting on the other team again. <laughs> Nine <laughs> points. <laughs> I took that. Let's get straight. Mr. Unitas, are you nervous? Yeah, I'm getting very nervous right here before this What's big football game? game. We've been working at it for about a year now, and if it's, I think we're going to do all right. Could you sleep last night? Yeah, I slept very well, matter of fact. I wish you a good game. Thank you. Come over here. Oh, here comes the horn. They try the old sleeper play with Paul Horning standing out of bounds, and... Uh, the golden boy out of Notre Dame, the Heisman Trophy winner, uh, just uh, let it slip out of his fingertips, probably was looking at the goal line, and uh, uh, started running before he caught it. <laughs> uh, he hasn't changed a bit, though. He told us just before pregame that he had uh, $600 bet on his own blue team. So uh, as long as he's betting for his team, you can't, you know, I think it's a good, good, good for a good cause. There's a snap from center that's bobbled, and it's dead where it falls. Uh, in this competition, a snap ball that does not reach the quarterback is dead where it falls, and uh, Johnny's got a little bit of an egg on his face, and he's probably going to be giving it, to, dishing it out to the center in the huddle when they get back there. You get the odd end over here, right. you get a tight end, and Johnny's yeah. on the outside, about 10 yards of sideline. Okay. Thank you. And the guys, uh, John, straight down, you outside. This is a fun game, and it's fun for guys to get out and play a sport. It's great for their uh, physical shape, it's good for their head, and it's, it's just fun. It's good, clean, all-American fun. I don't see a thing wrong with it. And there's no violence out here. This is, this is, uh, this is like a fraternity intramural football game, almost, because you've got a lot of, they'd kill me if I said it, but a lot of has out here playing. That still, United still throws a good pass. I'm not going to kill you for that, Phyllis, but you got to wonder, with these has why don't they quit? I mean, why, I mean, Johnny United, he's a great, he's, he's got all the records for a quarterback. Why does he have to come out and prove himself again today? He's not against a bunch proving of himself. He's having people. fun, but I, he probably wants to win. And oh, there watch, he is. Watch he's the, fading. Watch he's the getting, determination. Like he, oh, oh, that is the old oh. shuffle pass. If you had to marry a football player, which one would you like to marry? That's a sexist kind of question, isn't it? I'm not sure if I like that. Oh, all right. Brent asked me when I got into a thing with Brent one time about that. Who did I think was sexier, basketball players or football players? And did you answer? Was that a sexist question? Yeah, and I didn't. I didn't. Like I didn't mean any offense by it. I mean, if you had to, if you uh, just, uh, if you had a dream date, if you were on the dating game and you had to pick one of the three guys, and you what knew. What is it. this? I'm gonna kill you. I don't know. I would. I've never been in. I've never dated athletes. I don't know. Get in here. No, no, wait, 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 wait. She will. No, this team. Our team. The red team. Wait, give me the glasses. Sonny's gonna lob the ball. Watch. Right in here. Just keep up and run. Look out! O'Neal is dangerous. O'Neal is me. You got a first down for us, Gal. Thank you. That was a hell of a hell of a move. Thank you. Should have spiked it, fellas. Yeah. Your red team is behind here. What are you going to try and pull out at? What are you going to go with in these last few plays? You're going to try and stick with the stuff that got you here, or uh, you're going to try something new, some sort of flea flicker to try and. The best thing we can do is, is uh, see if we can get them to put all three of our timeouts together so we can get our team in shape. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> that would be my first guess. <clears throat> Would you say that you weren't ready, that you came down here out of condition? That uh... well, I think a lot of distractions, you know, when you come to the Super Bowl. I think the guys got too much other things on their mind. They're more interested in tonight's party at the Hialeah, I think, than they are in the football game. But that's the kind of thing you pick up when you go to the Super Bowl, you know? Do you feel that television is affecting the game? Uh... Oh, I think it's too much damn television, don't you? <laughs> well, you know, you and uh, Johnny Morris have been elected the co-Chevrolet Offensive Players of the Game uh, today. and. Uh, oh. With that goes a $1,000 grant and a new pair of shoes to both of you. I'll yeah. take the shoes and give the grant to somebody, and I, I don't need a Chevrolet. I always drive Pontiacs. 
Well, well, we'll make it the Pontiac player of the game, okay. Johnny, if that'll make any difference. That might be a lot happier. Uh, Pontiac, why do you go with the Pontiac? I like the Indian on the hip foot ornament. Uh, well, you like big car comfort. Too, yeah, you know, right. Of... Luxury. You've come a long way since being a, a, a late draft choice out of, uh, and uh, you've well, been to the top and back. Is this I read uh, about 2,400 miles? Or 2,400 miles. You've got all the records for passing. Is this? No, uh, Fran Tarkin has those. He's got them all. Yeah, he'll yep. set all of them. But in our minutes. minds, and I think in most of the minds of the people here in Miami Beach, uh, you're the number one quarterback of all time. Uh, well, it's taken a lot of money to get people to think that way. <laughs>